What is up my fellow mobile gamers? In today's video, we got our best beginner's guide for the brand new global release of Watcher of Realms. First thing we're gonna go over is coupon codes. I got two coupon codes for you now. I know they said in the Discord that some people were saying they disabled codes or something like that. I entered these specific two codes on my tablet and it worked. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna click on our portrait profile, then we're gonna go to settings and then right here, right next to official website, it says redeem code. You're going to type in WOR777 and then the other code is WOR888. Those two codes work for me as of right now. Depending on when you watch this, they may not work anymore. So just keep that in mind. Next thing we're going to go over is a little bit of count information. So how do you tell what server you're in? It's going to go by these parentheses right next to your ID number. Now the way it works is the last number is the server number that you're in. So this one shows a one, so I am in server one. Now the way to know if it's the global launch servers, like the new servers, or if it's like the beta servers or kind of like the old servers is gonna go by your first number. So if the first number you see is a five, that means you're in those official servers. And that is important because you wanna be in the global launch servers, that way you get all those global launch events and all those things that are going on. If you see a four, a number four right here, that's the old beta servers. Next thing we're gonna do is we wanna progress as fast as possible. And the first thing you wanna do is just get through the campaign as much as you can. Uh, the further you get through the campaign, the more features you will have unlocked. When you first start off, a lot of features are going to be locked, including your pre-registration event rewards. You will not get your pre-registration rewards until you clear chapter two of the campaign. Then you will see in your mailbox that you'll go ahead and you'll get this reward for reaching 2.5 million pre-registrations. Once you do go ahead and you unlock the Dwarven Association, which is pretty much the uh, shop where you can spend your gold, and then eventually you'll have like the guild shop, arena merchants, and the awakening shop. This black market though, don't go crazy on this just yet. Don't come in here and start like blowing all your gold, buying gear, especially gear. Do not buy the gear because you're going to have a whole raid that is focused on getting gear drops. So don't buy gear. You don't need to buy gear early on at all. What I went ahead and did was I bought the recommended bundle, the starter pack. The $29.99 one is $30. You can buy it twice. I bought that twice and you're going to go ahead and you're going to get one of these legendary summoning crystals along with 10 of these rare summoning crystals. So you're getting a lot of value out of the 30. I would say it's better than just the $5 for the character because out of these, you're potentially getting a legendary hero and then multiple epic heroes as well. I actually went ahead and I got my first legendary hero from buying one of these $30 packs. They do scale too, so you gotta watch because they have those tricks in you where those first two packs are 30 and then they start throwing $50 packs at you, which do give you a lot more stuff. So now you're going to get two legendary summoning crystals for 50, as well as 16 of these rare summonings and then a lot of materials. If you wanna get the most bang for your buck, it's gonna be the monthly cards as well as the privilege card. The monthly cards for $10, you're gonna get 40 of these summoning crystals over 30 days and then the stamina, which stamina is very, very important in this game. $10 again is gonna give you a ridiculous amount of stamina. The privilege card is the other one that I bought. I just bought the one month for $5. You get the first purchase half off uh, and then it's like $10 after that. Uh, more multiple auto fight battles, the extra stamina, gear raid, you're getting extra drops for promotional raids, gear raids. You're getting that three times five speed so that way you can grind a lot faster. Uh, the best way to spend your gems, which is your premium currency, is gonna be in the diamond shop. And that's just gonna be buying like the XP bonuses for one day, 100%, it's going to increase your XP bonus, as well as stuff like the bonus that's going to increase your gold as well. You don't have it show up just yet, but if we go ahead and we click on the gold icon in the top left corner, after we have a million pop-ups try and get us to spend more money, you can go ahead and buy that gold bonus. Once you unlock the guild features, you'll see that if we click it, you can purchase it in the guild shop after we clear chapter three, six. Another, another mistake that you can make early on is check out the events because there's a lot of events coming up that have to do with like 
summoning and leveling up your heroes and stuff. If you do too much on the first day, on that second day, Friday coming up, when we have other events like Festive Frenzy and Server Launch Festival, you're gonna blow through all of your materials in that first day and then when these events come up, you're not gonna have any materials to go ahead and try and compete in those events. So just be cautious of that. Always check this event hall and see what events are coming up because there's a lot for global launch. Another important thing I wanna mention is when you are building out your team, as you get through the campaign missions, you'll unlock additional slots for your second squad so you'll be able to bring more characters into battle. Now you do not actually have to use that specific hero in the battle for them to get XP. You just have to complete it. So what you can do is if you ever go ahead and you get a certain character that maybe is weak, but you wanna level them up, you can go ahead and just throw them in there with your other team. Another tip we have is if you click the little hourglass icon right here that shows this map, right next to the rewards, you can actually get a really nice breakdown of the map information where it's gonna tell you the type of monsters you're facing, as well as a breakdown of their HP, attack, defense, magic resistance, and also what kind of armor they have. This is really good because it's gonna let you know what type of characters you should take. If you should take just ranged damage dealers or you should take those magical damage dealers. So you can see that this one has common armor, melee, physical, and then if we click on this one, another common armor, but you'll see that this character right here has high defense, high HP, high magic resistance. Then if we look in the bottom left corner, you'll see this little uh, weird looking icon. If you click this, there are three different difficulties for the campaign. We have normal, hard, and expert. That is it for right now. More videos to come. Stay happy, stay safe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.